Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to apply the attach and detach functions in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and these examples rely on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right in RStudio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data frame object. And then you will see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data frame. So as you can see, our data contains five rows and three columns, x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to use the variable x1 of our example data frame then we could try to access this column by simply writing the name of the column into R, as you can see in line 6 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that an error is returned at the bottom in the R Studio console. And this error is telling us that the object x1 is not found. The reason for this error is that R does not know that we want to extract the column x1 from our data frame with the name data. So for that reason we can apply the attach function as you can see in line 8 of the code. So within the attach function we simply need to specify the name of our data frame that we want to use. So in this case we have called our data frame data and for that reason we simply need to specify the name data here within the attach function. So after running this code you will see that afterwards we can use the column x1 simply by writing the name of the column. So after running line 10 of the code you will see that the values that are contained in this column are returned to the RStudio console. Now what you have to know about the attach function is that your data frame will be attached in your current RStudio session as long as you don't detach the data. This might be confusing if your code is getting complex and for that reason it makes a lot of sense to detach your data after you have used it. So this is what I'm showing you here in line 12 of the code. And we can simply detach our data by specifying the name of the currently attached data within the detach function. So again, our data frame is called data. So we simply need to specify the name data within the detach function. And if you run this line of code, you will see that afterwards we cannot access the column x1 anymore. And now the RStudio console is again returning the error message object x1 not found. Yeah, so this is basically how to apply the attach and detach functions in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on these two functions, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining these two functions in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.